Europe and Intel. So hot right now. No. Firefox can't even handle the heat from that wombo combo. Europe plus Intel. Another record-setting heat wave grips Western Europe and has had an unexpected consequence. (laughs) Overloading Mozilla's support team. Mozilla has had to disable crash reports from PCs that are equipped with Raptor Lake CPUs due to unprecedented instability from the lineup of already hot running chips. The worst of the bunch is the Core i7 14700K. That's right, my friends. The temperature is so much higher in Western Europe right now that these already on edge 14th gen, and I guess, yeah, 13th gen as well, CPUs are being pushed over the threshold from stability to instability by this heat wave. That's right. Not even Mother Nature herself can help from dogpiling on Intel's troubled CPU lineup. And the worst part is 13th and 14th gen are the ones that are selling. As far as I can tell, Core Ultra 200 series has been a gigantic wet fart of a cpu launch i i can't even i can't even imagine me from five years ago being able to predict that intel could possibly move this little of a new generation of product like check this out okay is core ultra even here in the shot by series will core i9 bring it up (laughs) It the might, answer actually. is no. Whoa. That, that right there tells you everything you need to know. That Whoa. is how irrelevant Core Ultra is. Hold on a second. Let's keep going. Motherboard. Intel motherboards. 1851. Is there more hive mind thinking now than in the past? I think a little bit, yeah. the AMD chips were like pretty terrible for a long time there, you could still find them quite easily. Mm, Yeah, but that was because that's all they have. Intel's still selling 13th and 14th gen. Like those are Mm. still moving okay as far as I can tell. Okay. Um, Okay, yeah. So what what is this? The best, sort by best selling. Oh my God. These chips have been out for, how the frick... How the freak long have these chips been out for? Intel Core Ultra Linus. Hold on a second. When did when, when our... Thank you for trying, Intel. Eight months ago. Eight months ago, these chips came out. The top selling board is running at $77 off. This is a Tomahawk Z890 board for 240 bucks and has only 105 reviews. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my God, it's worse. Holy crap, it's worse. I saw, I saw this and I was like, oh yeah, I mean, there's, there's a bunch of boards that have like, you know, 50 something, 60 like something reviews. Board. Like no, 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 no. Dude, Luke, Luke, it's so much worse. They're pooling reviews. All these boards with 67 are the same product page. Across oh. Asus's entire Z890 lineup, there are 67 reviews. Holy wow. fucking shit. Wow. <laughs> That's nuts, actually. Oh, my. Like, I was already looking at just a handful of boards that have, like, 50-plus reviews. That's already not great. That's cumulative! And the MSI one is across a bunch of boards as well. 105 reviews across. And I'm going to read them all just to make this point. The MPG (laughs) Z890i Edge Ti Wi-Fi. The Z890 Gaming Plus Wi-Fi. Z890S Wi-Fi. Pro Z890A Wi-Fi, Pro Z890P Wi-Fi, MPG Z890 Edge Ti Wi-Fi, MPG Z890 Carbon Wi-Fi, Meg Z890 Ace, and Meg Z890 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. 105 reviews. 
Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I got people. I got people asking me some stuff. They're asking me some stuff in the float plane chat. They're like, okay, hold on a second though, Linus. Go to Amazon. Maybe Newegg just doesn't sell motherboards anymore. So let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Z890. Here we go. Okay. 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 Hold on. Maybe Amazon's doing a little better. But seriously, hold on. This is the first result. 50 plus bought in the last month. Okay. Let me put that in context. Okay. That was, this was the first result on the page. And yes, these are, oh, hold on. Are these pooled as well? Oh, oh, hold on. Are these pooled? Maybe they're pooled. Maybe they're not. Oh, wow. Uh, most, I, I don't think they're pooled, but most of these are pretty low. There's a couple that have like 1100. Okay. But for the most part, we're looking at like 21 reviews at 50 plus bought, eight reviews, 50 plus bought in the last month. I actually love this. Like how many people are buying this? Here's the overall pick with 800 reviews. Okay. So Newegg is not doing a good job of either selling motherboards, I guess, or of soliciting reviews. But let me put this in context. These numbers, like 50 plus, 50 plus, 100 plus. Okay. I used to work at a Canadian retailer that realistically, you know, for being real, their presence was mostly felt in like Western Canada. These yeah. would not be unrealistic motherboard sales numbers for us. The U S market at the time was, I think about 12 times the size and now would be larger than it was back then. <laughs> what? Oh man. Yeah. I mean, I look, it's not I, a good state for the industry I, to be. Yeah. I, I'm not trying to like be like a, a, a dive in front of giant billion dollar Intel company guy, but like this is actually bad for the industry. When Microsoft sucks and when Intel sucks, it's like actually kind of terrible for the entire PC industry. I mean, yeah. AMD has stepped up in a big, big way. Big time. And I'm Absolutely. really excited to see the way that Valve is pushing operating systems forward for PC users. Like, but it's still a, a really strong Intel and, and innovative Intel and Microsoft is better for the industry. And I just, I'm starting to lose hope that they're gonna, that they're gonna figure it out. I'm not. Really? I still got hope. I, I mean, still got hope. I, um, I believed in Pat, but I don't know if I've seen much from Lip Bhutan that has made me super encouraged about uh, Intel's trajectory. I'm, I'm a little yeah. more hopeful about Microsoft, um, sort of. I think there's still Pat um, era things to go, though, right? Yeah, there's product coming, but like they are. But my, my issue is that there's a there's a three year lag right? Three to yeah. four year leg on anything that a chip company does. So even if some good stuff happens over the next little bit, you know, good job, Pat. Well, what about three, four years from now when all of the cuts that they're making are going to finally be felt? Like, okay. So, so like the, I don't know, it's the same problem you have with politics, right? Where someone just totally useless can come in, blame all the current problems on their predecessor. Um, enjoy all the good things their predecessor did to improve stuff and then be useless and then leave office. And then the next guy has to deal with all the problems they created. Like they're the way the cycle is set up. Nobody ever actually takes accountability for their own issues and gets to take credit for the good things that their predecessor did. And I just, I feel like that's basically what we're looking at here. Ah, <sighs> ah, <sighs> Uh, I'm okay. Yeah, Tap's still there. Yeah. Yeah, Tom Peterson. Maybe ARC will be okay. Oh, hey, hold on. Someone told me that ARC is at MSRP. I never did hear back. I never did hear back from that Intel VP who promised me that I was going to get an answer on that. But if the cards are available for MSRP, then I'm over it. Okay, that's damn close. You know what? I'm officially over cool, it. Man. I'm a genuinely, I've, I have said this on Wancho a bunch of times, but that, that video that Ploof and David did um, is actually incredible. 
Um, current era arcs are really cool. Next gen arcs, I, I like. You know, there, there's always the, like it's going to be good next time. They're already good. Um, I'm I'm very excited Dude, about it next time. Onyx Odyssey Arc B580 12 gig GDDR6 259.99 newegg.com free shipping. That That's counts. A wicked deal. $10 over MSRP with free shipping? I count it. Yeah, I'd count that too. I count it. Good job. Good yeah, job hi. Intel. That's an affordable card that I can recommend. You might yeah. find the occasional graphical anomaly Report it. They're working so hard to fix this stuff. Yeah. That team genuinely feels very dedicated. I, I, yeah. I, it feels so weird, but like a lot of my hope for the future for Intel lies in their GPU division, which sounds nuts to say. <laughs> well, yeah, but they, that's where they've got to, they've got to catch up and they're actually, they're yeah. looking pretty good. NVIDIA yeah. did not have a great generation this time around. No. Like even on uh, the, even on the data I center that's side. very charitable. <laughs> Even on the data center side, like they, they've, they, there have been delays. There's been issues around heat. Like, dude, the opportunity, opportunity. Let's go. Oh yeah, big time. All right. I really hope B seven seventy cancellation is fake. I hope that comes because that would be just flipping so exciting. Like if we could have a it decent card be. at like three ninety nine, four ninety nine. Like, yeah. Ah. <laughs> I do agree, but I, I'm going to say something maybe a little contrary in here. If it wouldn't be that good, I hope they don't do it. Interesting. So you don't want to see the momentum and the buzz die down. 100%. But what if they needed to get some revenue to like justify the existence of this entire bloody department? Yeah, I, and that might be critical right now, looking at how the company's going. If it wasn't critical, I would prefer that they didn't do that, just because... Yeah, I think it's critical. Um, <laughs> yeah i mean if it's critical you got to do what you got to do there there really isn't decision making at that point you got to keep the lights on um it's just the the thing that worries me is honestly that video that i keep talking about didn't get a ton of views which to me means that there isn't a lot of public interest in the intel cards yet despite them being good um, maybe we just need to do like you know what ploof and i were talking on set the other day about how long it's been since we've done a build guide like we have how to build a PC, the last guide you'll ever need. Like we we've refre we've even refreshed it once, but it's thick. That's a thick video. It's like two hours long. Yeah, like most maybe we do like a gonna... forty-five minute. You know, here's how to build this specific PC, and we just do it with Arc. It's at MSRP now. I can with a straight face make a video where I say, "Here's a great eight hundred dollar gaming computer that you can go buy right now. We're gonna play some games." Upscaled 4K. Let's we know do the it. Power supply is not going to blow up. Yeah. Well. Yep. Lucas we will. Can, Lucas will make sure. We can highly suggest that the power supply won't blow up. We don't. Yep. We can't know. But yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be pretty sweet. Mm -hmm.